Hello Gunpla fans, today it's Speedball and today I got for you guys my second part of my Gunpla 2021's Gundam Expo delivery because for those who saw my first one, well you'll know why but if you don't know the reason why is simply put there were some P Bandai delays for some kits from the Expo and so on and so forth. Finally some have been shipped out so that's what these are <laughs> as you can see though these are two different size boxes that's because these are from two separate orders you know such like that and i don't know what's in them because i just didn't want to check what the shipping info was so I'll, minus tracking so that way uh so i could be surprised because so far they're not in wave order because my previous unboxing was from my third uh the third wave that was listed so I don't know which ones these are from exactly. So sorry, I can't tell you that, guys. <laughs> Though I believe I should be getting a lot more soon because I think I just saw a couple of uh, shipping infos earlier today, I think. I'd have to double check, but however. So what we'll start with is the smaller one because I think I do know what this one is. But I'd rather just look to be sure. So that's why I don't guess. Oh, and before I forget, today's video has been brought to you by Walmart's, uh, just purchased, uh, Mountain Dew Ginger Snap. It's Mountain Dew Soda. Yeah. Uh, don't drink this if you don't like carbonated water. I say that because that's literally the taste this thing is. I just got this today for fun, and, yeah, um, after a few swigs, it just... That's all it is. It's mostly carbonated water with a, yes, as as you can see with the picture, of course, with a minor taste of gingerbread. That's it. Most of it's just carbonated water. So, yeah, just pick it throw them for fun. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't do a Thanksgiving one at this point. However. All right, let's see what's in this. It's bubbles. Let's see. Garbage. Let's see. Um, okay, one more on this side. Yep, more bubbles. And that. Wait. There we go. They stock these boxes with a lot of these. I, I will tell you that right now, guys. Okay. So I just want to make sure that's all out before I start showing you guys. All right. Let's see now. Let's try to dig around a little. Okay. First item is... Ah, good. It is, as you can clearly see, the Gundam Base Limited, of course, System Weapon 004, which is, well, pretty much giant support for the Goof Custom and GM Sniper. Because, literally, it's a new sniping weapon and a much bigger heat blade which as you can see in this guy right here is awesome i mean that is so cool and yet sadly these are so hard to come by <laughs> uh, but a quick look so you guys can see it uh but yeah but these are a lot of fun yeah i'm getting more of these now lately because i finally been able to get some especially from the expo because if you weren't if you didn't know this these were at one time retail releases but then will now become uh well gundam base only <laughs> so yeah and luckily this year this expo gave me enough chance to get a, a good number of them than compared to last all right here's something okay it's a little one what is oh, oh, oh that's right i almost forgot about this this is of course the haropla gundam factory color version so yeah ah oh, Awesome, and that's cool because they just announced a new Haro plot from the Gundam Factory. So, yeah, and this is, of course, just the standard blue and white version where they've done a good number of other colors, which I hope to, well, maybe get my hands on. And this, of course, is based on the second version of the Haro plot because this is the computer version. So, yeah, awesome. All right, let's see without looking. Okay, nothing over here. Okay, here's something. Let's take a look. Let me move this a little closer. And this is the, ah, sweet, the Gundam 
high grade RX 783 G3 Beyond Global version. And of course, if you're not aware, this was the G3 variation, as mentioned, as the which I know this kit was quite uh, quite popular at the expo this year because a lot of people are trying to get this. Though it seems mine got bent a little right here. I, I don't know if you could see it. I'll try to. There you go. Maybe you can see it a little better. Huh. But you know, I'm okay. Though I'm very glad to get this because um I have not got any RXs in a while so. Yeah, this is going to be a fun build, especially the G3. This one we all know is practically the most must-recolor must version of the RX, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, what's next? Oop, okay, and if I'm right... Ah, yes! The Gundam base uh, version of the Blue Destiny Unit 1 Exam Metallic Gloss version. Ah, Man, I'm so glad I actually picked this up this year. Because last year, they had uh, the Freed, as you see in the background here. I think they had him last year. But if not, though, I'm very glad they got him this year. Because I've gotten a couple of the Destiny units. So, when this one was listed with the Freed, I just, you know, I had to get it. Because it looks really nice. Ah, oh, that is so cool. Hmm. Minor dent, though. Hmm. All right. All right, let's take a look. And let's see what this... Ah, that's right. Wait, did I order this in the same one? Hmm. Well, this is, of course, the Gundam-based version of the Efreet Custom Metallic Gloss version. Ah, uh, and this one I know was a god must run for your life if you got this kit. Because everyone wanted this. It was one of the kits they wanted from the expo. I know this for a fact. Uh, and I'm so glad I picked it up. Because, of course, you got to have these two together. You got to. And what's even cooler is that I actually got the regular high grade version of this one coming soon. But now that I have this version, I'm going to be customizing the other one. I'm going to have some fun with that. Uh, I'm actually thinking maybe like a black TriStar color. What do you guys think, huh? <laughs> All right, let's see. What else do we have? Okay, and this is. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, this was from the last or wave. Okay, so this is, of course, the Zaku 2 Real Tech Color RG, which I can tell you all right now, this is a very challenging kit to come by because anywhere else I have seen this kit go for expensive prices. So I am so glad I got this kit because the Real Types is probably one of the big themes of this year's expo. A lot, almost everyone wanted at least one Real Type kit from the lot. And I wanted this one because this year especially I've been really addicted to the RG Zaku. I've been, I already have like three others coming soon. So I'm so glad I got this because this will technically be my first standard Zaku uh, RG version. Because this is of course based on the Char Zaku. So yeah, oh wow. And as you can see this one is an older one because it's got the Expo logo on it. Actually, wow, it is old. Wow, if you could see that. Hold on, I'm trying to... This is from 2012. Wow. That is definitely an older kit, so definitely glad to get this now. All right, let's move these over for a second, because I think that's it. Nope, 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 there's one more. If I can reach it. Coming out, you. You're going to have to come to me eventually. All right, this box is done. One second. Oops. <laughs> And the last kit in this box is the Gundam Base Limited RX-72 version 3.0 Gundam Base Color Variation. Yeah, uh, I have never, yeah, I've never built the version 3.0. And being that well, pretty much all the RX kits at the expo were must-have, must-grab as many of. So yeah, I decided, even though it was just sort of like a last-second deal... I had to get this guy because I figured it's about time I build it. Though I just, yeah, I just never thought I'd ever own the Gundam base version, though. I always figured I'd just get a retail one, but, oh, man, this is going to look so cool. All right, now that that's over, well, this box is open, I should say. Let's get the big box done, but first let's move some of this out of the way so I, uh, we have the room. Ugh, one second. Okay, let's just put that over the side. 
and bring the much bigger box in because honestly i thought this the the box i just did was from a different or i was thinking of but wow no that's that was from i believe my fifth wave i'd have to double check from the no not fifth wave the fourth wave i should say because all right let me just find the slit all right all right there we go I mean to turn it this way. <laughs> Alright, garbage, bubbles, more of these, where are they, come on, okay, I believe that's everything, that's just in case, oh, oh wow, they stuffed a lot in here, never mind, okay, quick check, yeah, that's everything, okay. Let's take a look. Uh, hold on, let me adjust the camera so you guys get a better view. All right. To make this a little easier, I'll just fold this down for you guys. All right, let's look at this since you can see it right now. And that is of the Gundam Base, of course, exclusive uh, RX-78 painted model entry grade. And simply put, if you don't know what this is, this is the uh, entry grade variant of a kit of the painted line where pretty much it's an all white variation of the unit and well you pretty much just paint it to any color you want and of course these are meant for beginners kids and so on because as you can see right there in the corner this is a paint uh, fun paint version using the Gundam marker system and that's pretty much what these are for so yeah I picked uh, I figured to pick one up for fun yeah so yeah, simple. <laughs> and of course, these are fun for young ones. And next kit is the ah, the Gundam Base Haro version. Whereas you saw I have the factory version, I now of course have the Gundam Base version. This is so cool because, yeah, I was determined to get more Haros this year. I will tell you that, guys. So yeah, that is so cool. And plus, I, I know a lot of fans love the blue that the Gundam Base kits have. So that's one reason I got this. It's a really nice blue. All right, let's see. Let's go with the top. Ooh, oh, yes. This is the uh, weapon system 009, and pretty much as you can see from the image, it is pretty much Zaku Bazooka weapon support, because literally that what these are. That's exactly what these are. Uh, of course, I had to get some of these with so many Zakus I have now. <laughs> Simple, easy, and always a lot of fun, especially when you have so many extra hands to work with. <laughs> All right. Oh, and there's another one right here. So I'll just get to that one. And that is the first uh, weapon system, zero one. And this is the um, well, this is the multiple weapon setup because you can see you got the machine gun for the Zaku. You got the stand. You got this really nice uh, multiple machine gun for the Gundam. And of course, this one comes with its special weapon holster setup, so you can well put the weapons away if you don't want them on the kit. So yeah, now I know I've seen this one around here and there from bootleggers who try to resell it and, you know, repurpose it and things like that. But yeah, I'm so totally glad I got this. Looks really nice. Alright, let's see. Uh, okay, there's another one because, like I said in my other video, I, I got pretty much almost every one of the weapon systems this year. And, of course, I had to get the Zero Five one because this has that really cool uh, Gundam Shield claw weapon, the big Gatling weapon, and such. And what's even cooler is, as you see in the picture, there's the Hazel in this one. That is really cool. And the ground Gundam's up there, so I might have some ideas for customs. What do you guys think, huh? <laughs> uh, that's pretty cool. All right, let's see. Um, let's start. Okay, what's this one over here? Oh, I know what this is. This is the Gundam base exclusive debris stand. And for those who don't know what that is, pretty much it's a really nice stand. Because as you can see here on this label, it's every scale, literally, from 100 to 144. Mine is high grade, though, it seems. Uh, it's a battle stand, pretty much, that has debris parts. So you can display your mobile units in a battlefield scenario with, well building debris all around it and some really cool uh, water slide decals to increase the damage effect on your gunpla 
So that's definitely going to look really good. And, I'm, and I will tell you this now, once I have this put together, I will probably be using this stand a lot for videos and just pictures and stuff because this looks really fun. That, that looks really cool. All right. Let's see. Okay, we'll start. Ah, this one. Yep. The one I did not get last year. And that is the base exclusive Unicorn Gundam Luminous Crystal Body. Ah, oh, this one looks really cool. It, it does look nice, guys. I admit that. I didn't get this last year, though. I, I had thought about it, but by the time I wanted it, it was sold out. So I definitely got it this year. And I noticed this year it sold out just as quickly as it did last year. So so definitely had to get this one. That and I am I got a couple of uh, unicorns now on my backlog I'm going to be building with this kit. So, yeah, I'm definitely glad to get this one. Sweet. I especially love those crystal parts, because imagine if they did this type of crystal stuff with the RG. Oh, that'd be so cool. Let's see. Uh, okay, uh, let's... Okay, here's something. Oh, oh, right, this one. This is the base exclusive Narrative Gundam B-Packs, which definitely is really cool, especially if you're a fan of the narrative because uh, if you didn't know this, this is the only uh, variant of the B packs that comes with the narrative Gundam. The only other version of the B is uh, P Bandai. That's it. And you have to have the narrative separately in order to do this. This was the only time was that they're together. And that was, of course, from Gundam Base. So yeah, I, I totally decided to pick it up this time because eh, I figured it was about time I checked out the narrative. And this looks really cool. I always wanted to get those weapon parts, but uh, but then I have to go and get the Apex version. I don't have that kind of room for that big thing, but looks nice. So yeah, I'm totally glad I picked this up. Let's see. Okay, here's... Ah, that. The Sandra Clear version. And pretty much, for those who have noticed, uh, Gundam Base is doing a, has been doing a lot of wing uh releases through their line but mo all of them of course in clear plastic just like they're just announced um death scythe so yeah i had to pick this one up because i have his uh p bandai custom version so i figured i'd get this version in clear just for fun especially if i can get my hands on all the other ones too so yeah that'd be really sweet if i can get them all right that's next all right Oh, yes, the one I... Perfect timing, I say, with this one, right, guys? <laughs> and this, of course, was this year's uh, retail, uh, real-type uh, release of the just-released, revived Zaku 2. Oh, man, this thing looks so nice. This is, of course, from the revive real-type line, and uh, this is so cool, because, of course, you can do the command type and the, and the soldier-type version, and... Yeah, I really like it because it's got that nice color scheme to go with all the other ones. So, And I know this one was a must-grab deal because a lot of fans were trying to get this one. And, of course, uh, the Mark II. But, yeah, that's a good one. And I'm hoping to build that one soon when I can. Let's see. Oh, there's still something at the bottom here. Okay. And that is, oh, the Double O Diaper Trans Am Clear. Yeah, I didn't know if I was going to get this one. I admit that, guys. I think that this was just a figured why not build, because this was, of course, at last year's event, and this is pretty much like the Trans Am version of the Double O. And, the, and this version, of course, is the Diver version. But I figured since I do have the other versions of Diver and such, I why not? I figured pick them up, check them out. Plus, I want to try them with a, in a certain display idea I've been wanting to try. If, so I figured, why not? Because I don't think this will be at next year's. I'm pretty sure of that. So, yeah. I mean, what do you guys think, huh? <laughs> All right. I think that's about it. Oh, no, no. There, oh, no. There's definitely one thing left. And I know this was a kit uh, I had to get this time. Especially with recent events. Give me one sec. And that, of course, is the Gundam base. 
exclusive Epion EW special coating. Oh, one second, hold on. Sorry, guys. I want to make sure there's enough room. You guys can see this one because this, of course, was revealed this year and was definitely a must grab. And I say that because when I went to get this kit on the website, I'm not kidding you, I had to literally refresh the page over 20 times to get this one. I am not kidding. That is how much the people wanted this kit as, as much. Uh, and I've already seen some people build this guy because they got it at, you know earlier. And it looks really nice when built. It does look nice. And I'm very glad to get it, especially with the just uh, announced uh, <laughs> Metal Robot Damashis uh epion so yeah epion's getting a lot more attention now lately and i'm i'm actually glad for that because i'm hoping we'll see maybe i'm just saying maybe in this case um an rg hopefully and maybe a verka not this one i mean not this one I understand that based from the new from the wing zero verka that we got last year i'm i'm i know this isn't a bad kid i understand that i don't i know this is a good kid but i'm really curious to see what uh, improvements the Verka, the new one, could do with this. I'm just, that's just a fun thought I had. So yeah, but no, I'm super glad I got this because I don't have Epion in my collection. I've been meaning to get one, but yeah. But when this was announced, I had to get this. It just looks really nice with that color, the metallic. And it didn't cost me an arm or leg like some of the other special coating kits they had did. Yeah, that's, yeah, but this one's going to look so nice when built. Uh, I really wish Bandai would do more with Epion, like more new kids, new variants, and so on. It would look really nice. And of course, I know a good number of people are hoping for a high grade at a point. Like I said, I'm hoping for an RG, maybe a, a newer Verka, you know, just for fun. You know, it'd be, you know, we never know, right? All right, give me one second, guys. And there you have it, guys. This is from today's Expo Part 2 unboxing. And as you can see, that's a, literally a good amount of stuff to build. In fact, I couldn't even get it all on screen. <laughs> oh, boy. But no, I'm very glad, of course, because a lot of these kits, I know I'll probably never get my hands on again and ever. <laughs> and there's a good chance a percentage of these will never be relisted at another expo. Or at least not for a very long time, I could say that. That's especially one reason I had to get that RG, because, yeah, that as you as I read it, it's been a while for him. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to have so much fun with this. I especially am glad for the Epion. So yeah, I thank you all for coming. I hope you have a good day. Your ho you enjoy your hobbies, of course. Oh, and in case I don't mention this before, later on, I figured I'll say this now. If, uh, if I'm right, and if what Bluefin mentioned, uh, for an upcoming Comic-Con event, I, can't, I don't know which one, uh, they had mentioned during a live stream they did, that there's going to be some gunpla at that event. And I don't know what, but if I had to guess, and if you are interested, there's a good possibility we may see some more, well, Gundam-based exclusives or other exclusives, because they say it's going to be really not, you know, like really big or something like that. So it'll be very cool to check that out when we, whenever that happens. I just figured to throw it out there. All right, and F, well, minus that. Uh, thank you all for coming.